Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Codename YouTube Hero 2. I'm your presenter, Shabu RU. This is going to be a very um, quick and simple video. Now, there's no secret. Most of the people who I cater to are us Gen Xers, guys that grew up in the 80s and the early 90s. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring up this particular video is there's been a lot of big news about Batman. Now, a new character has been introduced, and this character's name is Punchline, hence the title of this video. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up this video is before everybody runs to the comic shop and pick up 10 copies of anything that relates to Punchline, I want you all to proceed with caution. And I'm gonna bring up some examples. And one of them is X-Men number one by Jim Lee. Another one is going to be the death of Superman. And remember how so many people went to buy issues upon issues thinking that that's gonna pay for your kid's tuition. And that has not been the case why well, those issues are important and I think that everyone should have them in their collection just remember that buy it for the right reasons not don't base anything financially on getting these issues or anything that relates to this character because I predict another five to 20 years they're going to be probably sitting or holding still with the values and of course DC Comics is ecstatic because, you know, the more people that go out, especially in this economy and buy issues, that means they could make first printing, second printing, third printing. And again, just proceed with caution. So for you guys that don't know who the hell Punchline is, we're just going to be talking very briefly about the character herself because... Everybody knows Harley Quinn. Well, Harley Quinn apparently has gotten too popular for the Joker. So he has looked and found someone that isn't romantically linked, but is nuts just like her. And it begs the question, a very uh, psychological question that, you know, you have to ask yourself. There are some people that are born that are just bad to start with. And that's what the Joker and this punchline is stemming from. So let's take a quick look at the character punchline. Now us older guys may be asking ourselves, doesn't the Joker already have a sidekick character? Um, well, maybe because that character, Harley Quinn, has evolved to be on par with the Joker himself during this modern era. The year of the villain, Hell Arisen number three, is the first appearance of this new character, Punchline. Now, I recently talked about the 80th anniversary issue featuring of the Joker. And in that issue, there's a story that kind of tells you the origin of Punchline and actually digs a little bit deeper into who she is. And there's a philosophical question attached to her that, you know, Usually the whole notion is that, oh, because of people's circumstances, they become bad. Well, in Punchline's case, he's trying to show that, hey, there are some people that are born that are just bad from the start. Um, I mean, and that's her and the Joker. And she doesn't look at herself as a sidekick or, you know, a love interest. She considers herself a partner in the Joker's madness. Now... Her first real appearance in a Batman comic comes in Batman number 92. Now what makes this issue special is Punchline kind of introduces herself to the world of Batman, especially Harley Quinn. So you could imagine like, you know, just kind of like a ex-girlfriend and a current girlfriend meeting each other for the first time. So you, there are some hostilities towards each other and then we begin to see them square off towards the end of the issue. Again, um, it's really like interesting to see Harley Quinn and Punchline together and like, oh yeah, we're, you know, don't worry girl, you'll be in my situation once Mr. J is, you're done with Mr. J. Now again, if you're interested to know, if you're interested in the Batman lore and this new character, yeah, by all means, go and pick up these issues and, you know, read about this interesting new character. But, 
again, we all been through that. We've seen it with X-Men 1, you know, Death of Superman. Don't go in and pick up 100 issues thinking that she's going to be the next Harley Quinn. Because even in the comics, they're trying to establish that she is not. So 